Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created user role based nav bars and storage service in our Angular project. And in today's video, we will create the entities for category and product. And at the end, we will create the post API for category as well. So let's get started. So to create the category entity, we need to right click on this entity package and here we need to choose new Java class and we need to name this category. After this, we need to annotate this class as entity. And after this, uh, let's give the table name as a category and let's write the data annotations to get the getters and setters from Lumbok. In this class, first of all, we need an ID so we can write private long ID and we need to annotate this as at the rate ID. And after that, we need to give annotation for the generated value and for strategy, we can choose generation type dot identity. After ID, we need a private string name. And after name, we need a private string description. We need to annotate this description as at the rate lob because we want to store the large data. That's it uh, for our category entity. Now let's copy the name and let's create the repository for this category entity. So we can right click on our repositories package and here we need to choose the Java class and we need to name this as category repository. And here we need to select the interface. Here we need to annotate this class as at the rate repository. And after that, we need to extend this class from JPA repository. And here we need to mention our entity, which is a category. And then we need to mention the data type for our primary key, which is long. Let's import this class here. After the repository class, let's create the service for our category. And to do that, we can right click on this services package. And here we need to create another package, which is admin. And in this admin package, now we can uh, create another package for category. And in this uh, category package, now we can create a Java class as interface and let's name this as category service. After this, right click on the category package and click on new Java class. And this time we need to name this as category service implementation. Let's add the annotation as service. And here we need to mention implements category service. Let's add another annotation which is required orgs constructor. And let's create the object for our category repository here. After this, we need to create the DTO for our category. So we can right click on our DTO package. And here we can create a new class with the name of category DTO. In this DTO, first of all, let's mention private long ID. And now let's duplicate this and rename this to name. And the data type for this should be string. The last property which we need is description. And at the end, let's annotate this class with the data annotation so we can get getters and setters. After this, let's go to the category service implementation class and let's write the method to create a category. The method will be public and this will return a category. And let's name this as create category. 
in the params we should accept the category DTO and here we need to create a new category now let's set the properties for the category so first of all we need to set the name so we can use dot set name and we need to get this name from category DTO so we can write category DTO dot get name let's duplicate this line and we need to update the name to description and we need to update the DTO method from get name to get description after this we can write return here and we need to call the category repository dot save method and let's pass the category here and that's it for our category service implementation now let's copy this and mention this in category service after this we need to write the controller for our category so let's right click on the controller package and create another package and let's name this package as admin and in this package we will basically create all the controllers related to admin after this let's right click on the admin package and let's click on java class and let's name this as admin category controller let's annotate this admin category controller with the annotation rest controller because we want to create the rest apis after this we need an other annotation which is at the rate request mapping and for the path we can write slash api slash admin the last annotation we need is at the rate required orgs constructor after this let's create the object for our category service and let's import the class and here we can write our api which will start from public and this will return a response entity of type category let's name this method as create category and let's use here request body as category DTO after this let's annotate this method as post mapping and for the url let's write here category in this method let's create a category variable and let's call our category service dot create category method and let's pass our category dto after this uh, let's return response entity dot status should be http status dot created and in the body we need to send the category that's it uh, for the post category api now let's create the entity for our product and to create the product entity we can right click on the entity package and here we need to choose the java class and let's name this as product and we need to annotate this class as entity and let's write the data annotation to get the getters and setters and after this let's add the table annotation and the name should be product in this product class we need private long id and let's annotate this as at the rate id and let's annotate with generated value as well and the strategy should be generation type dot identity after id we need to store the name of the product and for that we can write here private string name and after name we need to store the product price so for that we can write private long price 
after this we need to store the description of the product so we can write here private string description and let's annotate this as at the rate lob after this we need to store the picture of our product and for that we can write here private and we need to write the data type as byte array and let's name this as image and for the image we need the annotation at the rate lob and after this we need to write the column annotation and for the column definition we need to write long below because we need to store the large images after this we need to create the relation of this product with the category and for that we can write here private category and here we need a relation many to one because we want many products in one category and for the fetch type let's give this fetch type dot lazy and let's set this optional as false after this we need to write the annotation for join column and let's name this as category underscore id and for nullable let's give this as false after this we need to give the annotation for on delete and for the action we can choose here on delete action dot cascade and at the end let's annotate this as json ignore and that's it for our product entity now let's run our application and see if we got the tables for category and product As you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and we can see in the logs that it created uh, two tables category and product and our application is working fine. That's it uh, for this video. In the next video we will create the page for category so we can create new categories from our angular application.